temporary ban on flavored vaping products has been approved by the Oregon Liquor Control Commission and Oregon Health Authority. And this comes right after Washington approved a similar temporary ban that's now in effect. Now, Oregon's ban is set to go into effect this Tuesday. It'll last for six months. Fox 12's Drew Reeves has more on what happens if stores violate the ban. Today, the Oregon Health Authority and Oregon Liquor Control Commission made Governor Kate Brown's executive order official, banning flavored vaping products as they try to understand what is causing lung injuries around the country. Those injuries have affected nine people in Oregon, killing two of them. I think anytime we don't know the science, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. As a ban on flavored vaping products became official, many in the industry were hopeful for the future. It'll give the OLCC time to gather more data to make sure, you know, as, as they ban these things, are these really 100% the issue? You know, I, I still personally have concerns about, you know, cheap cartridges that are coming out of, you know, China that may have heavy metals in them. So, you know, I think 180 days is a great start. Some were focused on making sure that customers are getting safe products. While this is not, a, you know, not a great outcome uh, for the industry, you know, it's most important that we protect the public at this time. But others fear this will actually do the opposite. I believe that this will directly grow the black market. Jason says instead of banning the product, there should be stronger regulations on how it's made and the ingredients used. The best way we can do it is make sure that everyone who wants to do it has access to safely, fully regulated products. The next six months will be used to test products and determine what exactly is causing injuries. The results of that could lead to a greater vaping ban. Once we know that under the governor's order, we do have authority to go back and do rules to um, remove those products from the market as well. And you'll be able to tell if any of the products you buy fall under that ban because they'll say things like contains other or natural flavorings. The Oregon Health Authority says it's also stepping up an anti-vaping campaign with warning signs in stores and an ad campaign online. Reporting from the OLCC headquarters in Milwaukee, Drew Reeves, Fox 12 Oregon. Those in the vaping industry are pushing back on this temporary ban of flavored products. Today, dozens of them rallied on Capitol Hill to express their anger over the move. The shop owners say they have followed all FDA rules and they see how their flavored vaping products are helping people quit smoking cigarettes. Now they're worried this six-month ban could mean the end of their businesses. It wasn't until I found the right flavor, black honey, that I was actually able to quit. And that's when I started helping people and I noticed, wow, you find the right flavor and the right setup for someone, they'll quit like that. So you take away our flavors, which is 90, 95% of our business, we're not going to survive long. Those owners also believe it's not the e-liquid or nicotine industry causing the health problems, but rather illegal black market THC cartridges. Meanwhile, the CDC released new numbers on e-cig illnesses. There are 1,299 cases of vaping-related lung injuries across 49 states. 26 deaths are linked to vaping. About 80% of the cases are in people under 35 years old. A majority of patients reported using vaping products with THC along with nicotine. The CDC cannot pinpoint exactly what's causing these lung injuries, but they say that the data suggests THC does play a role. The CDC recommends that no one use THC vaping products. They also say if you're a child, young adult, or pregnant, you should not ever use vaping products.